Excellent work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. Yes, it was. Further proof that you're well qualified to guide the Black Eagles. That was impressing, Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won. I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. Was it something I said? Is it so odd, me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, I'm canceling the festivities so we can discuss this topic further. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the Academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. <sighs> Whatever shall I do with you? I am alive within the confines of your heart. I am unknown to all but you. But through your eyes and ears, I see and hear. Just listen to your heart, as you are doing now, and we may speak like this. That is all that I know. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? 
You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Uh, damn you! Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, Joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltin and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. The last time we fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. The Knights are well aware of our enemy strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, let's do all we can to prepare. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever.
Would you kindly do something for me? everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Ooh, same! I'll definitely remember that. Huh? You think I would be a good fit for your class? Mm, I'm not sure. There's still a lot I want to learn from my current class. Sorry to disappoint. That's so. Uh... Person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. Oh, do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. is a place of great significance to the Church of Seros. Even members of the Church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble. Those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. And bearing the unknown crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. I'm so glad to be a student here, if only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan, I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. I'd like to. I don't have many chances to travel. <laughs> ah, Professor! What an honor that you would come and talk to me. I'd like to learn more about you, and maybe someday you can add me to your class. Thank you. 
Swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume, it's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? What the? of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the knights. About... Professor, you're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the Academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? What's up, Professor? You need something from me? Hey, I got a girl waiting. Well, two. <laughs> they don't know about each other. I mean, can we talk later? I was thinking... Bored. Maybe I should go into town, but that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Ah, you can tell? I suppose being a professor has taught you how to ferret out time wasters. I'm bored. Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess, I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? Who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some knight he is. How about this? Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even Spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? But you are wearing many things, Professor. If you are not liking the heat, you should be wearing lighter clothes. Lifesaver.
show you my cooking talent. Hmm. A little more secret spice and... Hey! No peeking! Delicious! After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. I would be liking that greatly. Shh. 